time varying Phil's and Maxwell's equation. Members in our group Nur Dania binti Aman Shah Nur Nabila Hanis binti Muhammad Shahrin Auni Ishamina binti Zul Kifli Nur Fatihah binti Hanipiah A time verifying field refers to an electromagnetic field whose properties change with time. It is a fundamental concept in electromagnetism and the behavior of such field is described by Maxwell equation. Maxwell equations are a set of Fundamental equations in classical electromagnetism, named after the physicist James Clerk Maxwell. Faraday's law. Faraday's experiment showed that static magnetic fields do not cause current flow, but time varying fields induce voltage in closed circuit causing current flow. Faraday discovered induced EMF in closed circuit equal to the time rate or magnetic flux charge. The formula to find voltage EMF is equal to negative n d psi over dt, whereas n is the number of the turn and psi is the flux that through each turn. As for Lenz law, state that current flow direction opposes the charge in original magnetic field due to the induced magnetic field. Based on figure 1, the battery's electrochemical action generates EMF produced field EF and electrostatic field EE due to the accumulation at terminals. So total electric field is E is equal to EF plus EE. If we integrate over the closed circuit, we will got the equation like this, where EF and EE is equal to opposite within the battery. It is important to note that an electrostatic field cannot maintain a steady current in a closed circuit. An EMF produced field is non-conservative. Voltage and potential difference are usually not equivalent except in electrostatic. So now, let's discuss about the transformer and motional electromotive forces. This is about the connection between electromotive force and electric field. Through Faraday's law, we can explore the relation between electric and magnetic field. For a circuit with a single conductor, which is n equal to 1, the equation will be induced voltage is equal to rate of change of magnetic flux through the circuit. This equation, also known as Lenz law, in terms of E and B, the equation can be written as equation in the box given. So, it is clear from this equation that in time varying situation, both electric and magnetic field are present and are interrelated. The three ways of induced electromotive forces are by having a stationary loop in a time varying B field. Second, by having a time-varying loop area in a static B field. Third, by having a time-varying loop in a time-varying B field. Moving loop in time-varying B field is known as transformer electromotive forces. This EMF induced by time-varying current in a stationary loop is often referred to as Transformer electromotive force in power analysis since it's due to transformation. From deriving Faraday's law and applying Stokes theorem, we know that if we have two integrals over surfaces and the surfaces can be however we choose, then the quantities we integrate must also be the same. And this is how we obtain Faraday's law in final form as listed on Maxwell equation. Assalamualaikum, my name is Nordania Binti Aman Shah. Now we will move on with the part B, which is the moving loop in a static field. So when a conduction loop is moving in a static field, an EMF is induced in the loop. So based on the figure shows the example of the motional EMF, where a road is moving between a pair of rails, in this example, the B and U are perpendicular. So, uh, the EMF induced in the loop uh, can be written uh, in the number 3 equation where uh, the Stokes theorem um, equation was applied to simplify the equation in number 6 where the equation are taking an account for the following point that need to be noted. The integral in the equation is 0 along the portion of the loop where U is equals to 0 the L is taken along the portion of the loop that is cutting the field. 
the direction of the uh, induced current is the same as u times b. The limits uh, of the integral in equation number 3 are selected in the direction of the opposite to the induced current. Now let we move on with the part C which is the moving loop in time varying field. So the moving loop can be expressed as a moving conducting loop that is in time varying magnetic field where both transformer and motional EMF are present. So by combining equation from part A and equation number 3 in part B, the total EMF can uh, be written in the equation. So, but not that equation uh, number 1 in part C is equivalent to equation number 3 in part A. So, VEMF can be found using whether in the equation 1C or 3A. In fact, the equation in 3A can always be applied in place of equation 3A, 3B and 1C. Now, we will discuss on the next slide which is the displacement current. In the previous, we have considered the Maxwell curl equation for electrostatic field and modify it for a time varying field to satisfy Faraday's law. Now we discuss on the Maxwell equation based on the Ampere circuit law for a time varying condition. So first, the displacement current density was considered in the equation, where J refers to the conduction current density. So we will get the Maxwell equation based on the Ampere circuit law for time varying field shows, uh, which is H equals to J uh, plus del d per del t. So based on the displacement current density, we define the displacement current equation as ID. Maxwell equations in their final form describe the fundamental laws of classical electromagnetism. There are a set of four partial differential equations that relate the electric and magnetic fields to their sources. Here are Maxwell equations in their final form using the differential form. First one is Gauss law. Gauss law state that divergence of the electric flux density is the same as the volume charge density. Second one is Gauss law for magnetic fields. This equation states that the divergence of the magnetic field at a point in space is equal to zero. It implies that there are no magnetic monopoles. Third one is Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. This equation expresses the relationship between a changing magnetic field and the electric field it induces. It states that the curl of the electric field is equal to the negative rate of change of the magnetic field with respect to time. Fourth is Ampere-Maxwell law. This equation combines Ampere's circuital law with Maxwell's addition. It states that the curl of the magnetic field is equal to the sum of the vacuum permeability times the current density and the product of the vacuum permeability and permittivity of free space times the rate of change of the electric field with respect to time. Charge particle in electric and magnetic field. Electric and magnetic field have an impact on charge particles such as proton and electron. Let's see how this field affect charge particle. First is electric field. Electric charge create an electric field. It attract other charge particle via a force. If a charge particle is placed in an electric field, it experiences an electric force in the direction determined by its charge. Positively charged particles like proton experience force along electric fields, while negative charged particles like electron experience force opposite to electric field line. The magnitude of the force experienced by a charged particle in an electric field is given by the equation F is equal to QE, where F is the force, Q is the charge of the particle, and E is the electric field strength. Charged particles can be stimulated to move faster due to electric fields. The second one is magnetic fields. Magnetic fields generate force on the charged particle by moving electric charge or magnet. Charged particle in magnetic field experience force perpendicular to velocity and direction affecting its motion. The force experienced by the charged particle in the magnetic field is given by F is equal to QVB sin theta, where F is the force, Q is the charge of the particle, V is the velocity, V is the magnetic field strength, and theta is the angle between the velocity and magnetic field direction. Charged particle move along magnetic field line in a, a circular pattern by a force without changing their speed. The magnetic force can be used to deflect charged particle. In summary, electric and magnetic field affect charged particles based on their charge, while moving particles are influenced by their motion.